Right, guys, I want us to look at first angle orthographic projection. First angle orthographic projection, this one. Right, we are given two views there that are given in first angle orthographic projection. We can confirm that with this symbol. This is the symbol of first angle orthographic projection. So this is the question. So the question read as follows, figure 3, which is figure 3, right? On the next page, in first, it shows in, uh, in, uh, shows in first angle orthographic projection, comma, a front view and a top view of the what of a coupling drive. So this is the front view and the, the top view of the what of the coupling drive. You know you must know what is coupling. You is, you, 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 right from fitting into, isn't it? So now we are throwing it. The coupling is a joint is joined together by means of what of M thirty, M thirty. So. Uh, take a note of that M30 bot and nut. So the bot and nut of M30. So the bot and nut. This is the 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 bot, isn't it? So the nut supposed to be assembled there. Bot and nut of what of M30. So the bot is in place. However, the securing nut has been omitted. But then it, it doesn't mean that when you are now throwing, you are not going to put the nut. It's supposed to be there. Throw to a what? To a scale of 1 is to 2. In first angle orthographic projection, the following views. So, so the type of scale that we are using there, it's a reduction scale, which is 1 is to 2. What does that supposed to mean to you? Which means you divide every dimension every dimension here yeah, by two beside the angle so remember the angle we are not dividing the angle so reduction scale 3.1 you must draw a full sectional front view on a cutting plane a a with the a securing nut in position 12 marks an outside left view with the securing nut in position outside late view with the securing nut in position no hidden details is required print the following so you'll be given how much nine marks print the following tightly and the scale is and the, and the scale central beneath the layout so this one don't just write you have to print Insert the first angle orthographic projection symbol in position below the tightly. Remember this one, this one mark it. The, the orthographic projection symbol supposed to be drawn uh, in dimension. Are we together? So let's start. So did this is your front view, this is your top view. Did they set draw the top view? Remember, we cannot have the missing view without the top view which means indeed we have to draw that the top view let's start so so if now if you are about to start so you must start uh, uh let's start by drawing the what the 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 the, the top view so start the top view uh, uh, left below so that you're going to have a space upper uh, left hand for your art, for your friend views, you understand. So don't just start in the middle of the question paper. I mean, of your answer shit. Right, we are having M thirty, M thirty. So M thirty divided by two. Remember, uh, the two is from the scale, so it's going to be fifteen. So which means we are drawing a a, a diameter fifteen. 15 divided by 2, 7.5. Then open your compass to 7.5. And remember, if you are, you, are, you are, because you must have this. Okay, before we even do that, 7.5. Let me start like this 7.5. 
So I decided to start here. Yeah. So this is M15 actually. Because they said M30, isn't it? Divide by the scale. Then from there, I get this. Then the vertical one, throw it till up there for your what for your front view. Right, corresponds this fifteen. Yes, it's fifteen. Right, then from there, from there, I see the what, the bigger diameter, this one, diameter 8, 8 divided by 2, is 40, which is diameter 40, 40 divided by 2, to get the radius, which means it's 20, I open my, my compass to 20, so that I'll get diameter foot and I can even draw dark here dark here then the side hidden this which one is this one this one right is this one is this one right then remember we are starting with the top view but the question didn't say draw a what a top view you understand why is why are we why is it supposed to be there because of the what of the left view they said 3.2 draw a left view you understand so we must use the two given information to get the missing view which is front and top to get the what the left so we will we we, we will be drawing this to view the way as it is. Then from here, coming here is 130. So 130 divided by 2. 130 divided by 2. 65. So there is your 65 ending. So, and what is ending at 108 is the center. So, construct it. Take it up. So, after I've gotten that, we are seeing a dimension. Dimension of what? The dimension, this is dimension diameter 20 so 20 divided by 2 is diameter 10 10 divided by 2 is 5 so if you are even a stencil ruler it's even quicker and accurate so there we have it then the outer one is diameter 40 40 divided by 2 is 20 so i'm looking for diameter 20 here yeah. 21 this is 20 like this we go so this one is this one you understand then from there what is happening what is happening we are seeing a diameter uh, sorry a dimension 60 so 60 divided by 2 is 30 30 divided by 2 is 15 why are we dividing by 2? Because of the reduction scale, remember. Like this. And like that. So to get these ones. Eh? To get this one. So. Gonna get this. Then from there comes here hey bon 
right so we're done with this part and then let's move this other side so the set from here from here till here is 72 so 72 72 divided by 2 36 35 36 so get it <laughs> So get a horizontal, a vertical, faint line going up. Then where 72 ends begins 122. So 122 divided by 2 is 61 and is, is a dimension. 61 so further extend this center line so 60 61 is there and where 61 ends it's a what it's a it's a vertical center line So what you did here, you, you must do it here. It's the, it's the, it is the same dimension. Same dimension, same dimension. What you did here, you must do it here. Diameter 10. And, and diameter 20. Like this, then from here we see horizontal line, line till where seventy two ends, which means we we'll go like this. You even draw it dark because you know where is it going to end, isn't it? Draw it dark. Then from here, move like this, and. Move like that. Then now, without fear or favor, we know what this one is. It's now solid. Are we together? Then we are having a a hidden line, which is dimension twenty. It's dimension from there till the twenty. Twenty divided by two is ten, which is which means which is a reduction scale. So it's going to appear as hidden detail. But from here, construct it up as a faint line. <laughs> then from there, what is happening? Uh, let's see. We are left with this 16. 16 divided by 2 is 8. Then 8 divided by 2 is 4. Then which means we are going to say for this side, for this side. This is 5. This is 4. 0 and 9 and 8. There. Hey, everyone. A little bit faint, a little bit faint, then like this we go, so like this we go. Right, then from there we can say we are done with the what with a, a top view. So now let's go up, construct all the all the lines that are behaving uh, or existing uh, vertically. All the points are faint. Construct them faint. This one. 
in this one in this one that one take them faint all of them all of them even the hidden detail one constructed them faint this one we did it this one this one and the last one right then from here going up meter 20 millimeter 20 millimeter so which means from here going up we can start by drawing our what our our front view so check the bottom part of your front view which is this one the bottom part of your front view which is this one isn't it is the head of the boat and how do you draw a, a head of the boat we are going to use an m number and the m number is no longer 30 isn't it is 15 because of the scale so we're going to say 1.5 times what times 15 like this 1.5 times 15 and then we are getting a 22 so 22 divided by 2 22.5 22.5 divided by 2 so that we get the radius isn't it so it's 11.25 so you open your compass 11 to 11 0.25 it would be just 11 11 then come back to your what to your top view draw draw it faint faint then after that place your compass here as if you are drawing a water hexagon a flat hexagon striking arc there again strike an arc here and strike an arc there then after that put your t square horizontally this they must be in the same horizontal line then here you go here you go as if you are drawing a flat hexagon so this flat hexagon it has to be drawn where in your top view in your top view then from there construct your lines up these corners of your flat hexagon as well construct them up up right then after you've done that what is the height of the boat what is the height of the boat the height of the boat is 0 0.7 uh, not 0 0.8 the uh, uh, the 0 0.8 is height of the nut so the height of the boat head is zero point sorry zero point seven times m number the m number is no longer thirty isn't it is fifteen times m number which is now ten point five which means we can then measure ten point five from here ten so the point five is between eleven and this and ten then from there get that so which means there is my corner with this one and again corner isn't there it goes with this one you understand so what do you, do i do with these corners so i'll join them diagonally 
like this. Once they cross the my center line, I can stop there. Again, these ones. Diagonal. I can stop there. So where they are bisecting each other, that's where I can place my compass. I place my compass here and further extend it till here. Then I can draw dark till till here. If anyone, so I cannot draw it. Yeah, why? Because of remember, is the head of the board, so on its below part is just straight. So again, join this one diagonal as well. This and like that. So then you can place your compass here. Draw dark from here till here. Place it there. Place the still till here. Dark from here till here. So now, without fear or favor, I will know what here is dark from here till here. From here till there. From here till there, yes. So this is the height, this is the height of your bolt, your bolt head, All right? Then we've threw this one, so which means we can Measure this now going up, which is 10. This is, is 20 divided by 2. Is that 10? Take it horizontal further because you are, you, are, you are also considering your left view, your left view, this side, isn't it? Then after that. 60 total to this 60 60 divide by 2 is 30 so there is my 30 what is the half of 30 is 15 so why I'm I'm getting that 15 because of this end which means now I'm getting the center because it was 60, isn't it? Divide by 2, 30, 30, divide by 2 is 15, so that you get. So, which means now I can even draw this center. So that I will have an idea of what is happening actually here. Then, this one. Faint. Faint. It's faint like this. Then from there, we are having another 20, which is a 10, according to the reduction scale. There it is. There we go. Then after that one, we are having a... Okay, we'll end with that one, because we have to put a nut there. So now let's complete this one. What is happening there now? Let's come this side. We had a dimension 24. 24 divided 20, 24 divide by 2 is 12, isn't it? 12 divided by 2 is 6, which means we can put it at 6 like this. And mark 12 and 0. 12 and 0. Like that. So the 12 and 0. So now. Here let's get this one. 
so that we'll be able to get this 12, uh, 24. So this is corresponding with this, with this one, isn't it? Of which is what we had, we have, which means I, we can correlate this one now. Like this. Like this. But it, it won't stop here. Yeah, it is going to go up, isn't it? It's going to go up. So without fear or favor, we can remember the, the question. Where is our question? The question was like, draw a full sectional front view on a cutting plane AA. And this cutting plane AA was situated in what? In, in, in our top view. And we draw what is pointed by the arrow. Arrow. We, that's what we are, we are drawing. And whatever that is beyond your cutting plane, we consider it as an off cut, isn't it? So from there, which means without fear or favor, this one from here till there, it was it, it was appearing as hidden. So now it's going to be dark. It, it's going to be solid, which means without fear or favor, I can draw this line dark now. Let's, let's do it. Which one? This one. From here. From here to there. So that I can draw this one dark. Which one is this one that I just drew here? is this one from here till here Never. so again remember from here till here it will disappear isn't it because now we are exposing the inside view so from there till coming this side it will be still there so the hidden detail is which one is this one because this is going to correspond with the hidden details this one is going to correspond with that one understand so what we did here we can let's do it up there so that we are going to have a light on what is happening this is not allowed this is not allowed you have to be careful there I can have this and then till where till here and there. Like this. this so this one position your camera so this one it won't disappear it will be still there so it has to be solid which is this one like this remember from there it goes till here so it will go but from here till here, this line has to disappear. So, which means I can do like this. Remember up there, I can close. Remember, it. they didn't tell us about the washer. Did they say the washer? Securing not in position. There is no washer. Okay, so it's correct like this. Then from there, what you did there is still the same. What we did there, which is this one, is still the same as this one. So which means it's still the same dimension. So which means I will draw it dark till here 
and from there till there a1 just like this then dark from here till there which means dark from here till here dark from here till there so i can have a dark line here you see that is simple if you have through your your if you have uh, constructed your faint lines if you drew them already so there you go and here we go hey one because from here till there it will disappear so now we draw you, 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 you they said to use a uh, angle 30 these lines angle 30 anti uh, uh, sorry clockwise direction like this simple and use it like this right then from there let's see what is happening so if if we are tracing this cutting plane from here so this hole was cut it which means indeed this one has to the 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 hexo went through it which means this one has to change a uh, dark remember from here till here we cut it from there till there it's a hole isn't it so which means here here in my top view dark and dark then from there let's come this side simple eh? very simple let's come this side so if we are exposing the inside view eh, these ones they will disappear from here till here from here till here they will disappear you don't even have to draw them so from there till there of which is what we did so the dimension that, that we have to tolerate is what is this the height which is 50 50 divided by 2 is 25 then 25 uh, divided by 2 again which is 12.5 10 put it this is 12.5 the 0.5 is between 12 and 13 isn't it so 0 and 25 so now you can draw it dark like this construct them as well this direction faint this direction faint so they are dark from here till here which is the photo which is what you, we did there so now you'll be just Drawing it like this and like that so remember from here till here it will disappear isn't from here till here it will disappear so which means this and that till where till here and there because it's from there till there there till there which means it's this one this like this like this right so the hexo even here it would be still the same thing so from here to here that fear of favor has to change dark or solid like this like this then now we can section our front view this section our front view There you go. There you go. T 
here down there let's check okay it was still outside there we go there we go there we go so this is more like entry assemble drawing because these are two items so your hatches it has to differ your hatches they must be different yes so we can say this is item one and then this is item two so yeah we don't section eh? this way they sub mm, eh, eh, they will support us <clears throat> excuse me these are supporters so we don't section a support unless it's cut it across its height you understand if it's cut it along we don't section so double check now the the hatches of the other item so it will be in different a different direction and different spaced So your hatches they must be equally spaced at an angle of 45. It's still there. Yeah. Yeah. There. There was no any uh uh, push inside there there was no any other push right so that's how you section your front view a full sectional front view on a cutting pen aa this is it but now that we have to we have to draw the nut up there that is why they didn't give you the dimension from here till how high it's supposed to be so now the height of the nut is 0, 0 0.8 times 15, isn't it? Not 16. 15 is 12. So you measure 12 millimeter from here going up. This is 12 millimeter. Then from there, let's see, this is it, which is this one and this one. There it goes, it's this one and this one. There it goes, it's this one and that one, this one and that one. So you do, you do what you did down there. Paint. Paint. Hey, one. Then again. Finch. Then finch. Right. So now you can start by placing your compass here. Further extend it till this line. And you draw dark from here to here. Then from there, come place it at the back here. Like this. Till there. You can stop. So it's a nut supposed to be in both sides. Place it here. This we go. And this we go. Till there. You have to be careful. 
this we go and make this we go then now you will know what is dark from here till here from here till here from here till there from here till there then now you come conclude it like this right since we were not given the height from here till here the height the height of it which means we we have to consider the what the zero point the zero point zero point three remember zero point three times m number isn't it which is four point five which is four point five Four point five. So what is that one? It's the star. So it will be like this. Just this one. This one. this this then from there you can construct them down this down like this Right, then you are done with your front view. Then you can be given your 12 marks then. Like this. 12 marks is now yours. So any mark from your, what you call from your, from your, your, your top view, no. No marks for the top view. Why? Because of, they didn't say draw it. Why? why so why are, were we drawing it? Because of 3.2. The left view you understand how like this which means from this corner from this corner yeah 